question is, what would he want with a toy maker? These actors aren't only physically talented, but vocally as well. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best celebrity voice performances in animated films. Now ye augur, pray for mercy from... Puss! They would. For this list, we're taking into account the flair and passion these actors put into the shotgun microphones. I am a unicorn. Celebrities must be normally recognized for their live action work, but also able to bring energy to their hand-drawn or CGI characters in a way that we just can't live without. And just between us, you might want to work on that little roar of yours. Number 10. Jerry Orbach as Lumière, Beauty and the Beast. This is Lumière. Enchanté, chérie. Following a long-standing career as a stage and TV star, this Bronx-born actor adopted a French accent to play a mischievous candlestick in this Disney flick. Good! So, you fall in love with her, she falls in love with you, and poof, the spell is broken. We'll be human again by midnight. Not to outshine Angela Lansbury and her beautiful rendition of the film's signature song. Both a little scared, neither one prepared, beauty and the beast. But Jerry Orbach is the only character to channel the French roots of the original story. You can count on me, mon capitaine. Whether he's arguing with the pompous Cogsworth or flirting insistently with other household items. We only live to serve. Try the gray stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. The uncrowned champion of comic relief characters, Orbach's performance really drives home the sensation of Lumière. Be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, sherry, and we provide the rest. Number 9. George Clooney as Mr. F.F. Foxy Fox, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Because I'm a wild animal. He's the man synonymous with the phrase movie star. So we had to constantly remind ourselves that he is the one playing the lead in this stop motion flick. And the greatest, the quote unquote fantastic Mr. Fox. Described as a natural choice by Wes Anderson, Clooney's charm adds a certain gentlemanly quality to the already fantastic titular Fox. <laughs> Unlike other animated films, the voices were recorded on location in an old farmhouse to get the most natural performances, and as an attempt to replicate the movie's mood. You really are kind of a quote-unquote fantastic Fox. I try. As a result, the comedy boasts the suave nature of Clooney's character, recounting the group's bizarre heist capers. It's almost like the remake of Ocean's Eleven. Hey, wait a minute. When was the last time you were in Vegas? What? You want to knock over a casino? Number 8. Steve Carell as Felonious Gru, the Despicable Me franchise. I know how much you like to laugh. Known for his live-action roles in romantic comedies and as an awkward manager on TV's The Office. What's that? What's that? What better choice is there to play a gruff and foolish jelly manufacturer slash supervillain? It's like my heart is a tooth and it's got a cavity that can only be filled with children. Almost indistinguishable as his previous 40-year-old virgin, Steve Carell's Russian-like accent is dead on and presents a mad cartoon doctor perfectly in these 3D computer-animated comedies. Next, we are going to steal! Pause for effect. His performance channels the great Mel Blanc in Gru's outlandish reactions to his failures and comeuppances but also provides a softer quality for his more sympathetic moments. You gave us back! I know, I know, and it is the worst mistake I ever made! Weaving in and out of his tones, Carell never loses the cartoon taste of his performance, and that can only be a great thing. Will you read us a bedtime story? No. Number 7. Kevin Spacey as Hopper, A Bug's Life. No, then get back in line. He's one of the most versatile actors on this list, 
having played a malicious politician and a mythological serial killer. But now, in this comedy adventure, he plays a villainous grasshopper. Uh, uh, uh. First rule of leadership, everything is your fault. But, but it's I... a buggy bug world out there, princess. We know from House of Cards and American Beauty that Spacey is no stranger to living a role in his vocal patterns. But Hopper was the first time he'd really done so only through his voice. You a piece of dirt. No, I'm wrong. You're lower than dirt. You're an ant. The Oscar-winning actor mixes cold, almost hoarse textures to bring out a shadowy tension in his performance as Hopper, making it one of Pixar's most intimidating voice performances to date. You let one ant stand up to us, then they all might stand up. Number six, Billy Crystal as Michael Mike Wazowski, the Monsters, Inc. franchise. You call yourself a monster? Now for the flip side of Pixar performances, with one of the best uses of comedic voice acting when it comes to the good guys of a film. Scary feet, scary feet. Oh, the kids away. Upon first look, Billy Crystal seems out of place as the one-liner spouting one-eyed monster. But upon closer inspection, his performance actually brings a much-needed balance to John Goodman's kind yet deep voice as Sully. Look, you and I are a team. Nothing is more important than our friendship. The energy and excitement the actor brings is not just what makes him good, though. When leading the 2013 prequel, Crystal digs out a lighter and softer tone for his more sympathetic moments. I knew I was scary. I didn't know I was that scary. In whichever circumstance Mike Wazowski finds himself, Crystal adapts to put forward the best possible chemistry. The team of Wazowski and Sullivan are going to change the world starting today! Say scream! Scream! Number 5. Ellen DeGeneres as Dory, Finding Nemo. Hi, I'm Dory. Speaking of chemistry, how do you make an uptight clownfish and a mind-numbing fool work this well together? Can I help you? Something's wrong with you. Really. Obviously most known for her talk show these days, Ellen DeGeneres uses a playful innocence to combat the harsher tones of Albert Brooks' Marlin the Clownfish in this Pixar flick. When life gets you down, you know what you gotta do? I don't wanna know what you gotta do. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. Her lighter optimism is so unique to the tone of the film that, when thinking of DeGeneres' big screen work, she is practically synonymous with her character of Dory which has led to a sequel being developed. I'm sorry, but I really, really, really think we should swim through. And I'm really, really done talking about this. Over we go. Come on, trust me on this. Number four, Mike Myers as Shrek, the Shrek franchise. Why are you following me? While his previous characters were eccentric yet one-dimensional, Shrek is a package of vicious loneliness and sarcasm, yet also a kinder soul all effectively demonstrated through the actor's voice. Of course. Really? No. Not to say that his performance isn't helped by Eddie Murphy as the dim-witted donkey, as the pairing's mishaps are only complemented by their bond as talented voice actors. Why don't you go celebrate your freedom with your own friends? Hmm? But, uh, I don't have any friends. Shrek is not only one of the best voice performances by a celebrity, but also one that enhances Mike Myers' career rather than simply being a side gig. Now, where were we? Number three, Jeremy Irons as Scar, the Lion King. Oh dear, I've said too much. Well, I suppose you'd have found out sooner or later. This Britain-born actor brings a brilliant gravitas to the greedy brother of Mufasa in this musical epic. Kill him. The foppish villain of the Animal Kingdom has a voice talent more in common with a Shakespearean tale than a Disney film. Much like the story itself, actually. Murderer! No, Simba, please. But it's the quarrels between Jeremy Irons and his on-screen brother James Earl Jones that propel our ears to bliss, both presenting a strong clash of bellowing and snarly voices. Brother, help me! We love Jeremy Irons, particularly for the way his voice almost dances through his plots, especially when he informs dear Simba of his most famous surprise. And here's my little secret. I killed Mufasa. No! Number two, Tim Allen as Buzz Lightyear, the Toy Story franchise. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Clearly, this voice performance will go sailing to infinity and beyond. To infinity and beyond! 
These favorites of the Pixar films are highlighted by the delusional space ranger turned heroic children's toy with Tim Allen at the microphone. I just want you to know that even though you tried to terminate me, revenge is not an idea we promote on my planet. Oh, well, that's good. But we're not on my planet, are we? Buzz Lightyear's deep, charming voice is only enhanced with the help of Tom Hanks as his cowboy best friend. My name is Woody, and this is Andy's room. Hank's upbeat and friendly performance complements the more gentlemanly vigor of Tim Allen, to the point where they'll both have a friend in us any day. And you, my friend, are responsible for delaying my rendezvous with Star Command! You are a toy! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Shh, shh, we're hiding. Be quiet, everyone, including me. Shh, who's making that noise? Oh, it's me again. What do you say we, we lose this crowd? Oh, me. You know, I, I wear many hats. I guess you'd have to call me a renaissance ant. Great, great. Anyway, see, ladies, I was at this party and I lost track Wait, of you. Wait, yeah, I know you know. So, here's the deal. Zeus, Mr. High and Mighty, Mr. Hey, you, get off of my clouds. Pocahontas. I'm John Smith. Who are you? Buddy, I am the Dragon Warrior. Number one, Robin Williams as the genie, Aladdin. 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. Alibaba had 40 thieves and Scheherazade had a thousand tails, but there will only ever be one Robin Williams. Aladdin! Hello, Aladdin. Nice to have you on the show. Can we call you Al or maybe just Din? Or how about Laddie? In Mrs. Doubtfire, the comedian states that he does voices, and he's correct. I do voices. What do you mean, you do voices? Well, I do voices. His ecstatic performance is such a powerful addition to this musical fantasy that it almost changes tone entirely once the genie is introduced. What would you wish of me? The ever impressive. The one contained. But never duplicate. 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 Not only that, but his high octane manner drives the second half so much that Disney aired the movie on TV in tribute to Williams following his 2014 death. And there's no arguing the actor and comedian deserved all the honor and praise he has received. All of you, come over here, big group hug, group hug. Ooh. <laughs> Do you mind if I kiss the monkey? Ah. Ooh, hairball. Do you agree with our list? What a beautiful creature. Which movie voice performances are your favorite? For more vocal top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I don't have time for this.